four sisters of Providence from Montreal came here. They took risks with their young lives. They didn't have a whole lot of education. They had willing hands and loving hearts. The sisters' motto is, a heart consecrated to charity. How beautiful that somehow we've taken that and that is a symbol to represent our, our ministry. In healthcare in Canada, I think to be able to hold up that we care for the whole person, not just to their body, but the whole person who they are, uh, is so important in our, in our society. Being able to have hope for a future and having somebody to nurture that within you actually has physiological changes within a person. I think it's the family story. We have to go back in history to Kingston in the mid-19th century. Now Kingston was a thriving port, but it was a very, very unfriendly place for the poor. Now Bishop Horn was the bishop of the time, and he saw that he had a religious community, but then he saw in his diocese people who were falling through the cracks. And these were the elderly, the orphans, and the prisoners. So uh, Bishop Horn asked if Sisters of Providence from Montreal could come to Kingston and form a religious congregation to look after these people who needed help. And four Sisters of Providence arrived in Kingston on December the 13th. In the first week they were here, they visited 40 sick people in their homes. And after they were here two weeks, they had 10 orphans living with them. Some young women from the region uh, joined them, uh, looking after the orphans, the elderly, and visiting the prison. And the bishop helped as long as he could. And then he said to the sisters, I am a poor man. I have no more money to give you. You are on your own. And they began begging, literally, in February of um, the next year. That was the hardest part of all the ministry they did. Somebody would take them about the countryside and they'd go to people who had very little themselves, but they would share. Begging is not easy, and often the sisters were rebuffed and they had to bear that humiliation, but they uh, also were very generously um, given uh, much for them to continue their work. After five years, the sisters who came from Montreal to form them went home. That was a big blow for this little band of women. However, they were trusted in Providence, and the annals tell us that the superior wrote, this little bark of Providence will continue on. Canada was opened up and the pioneers went across the country. We started getting requests, would you come out and open a hospital? So we went building hospitals right to the west coast. The sisters uh, were able to sponsor these uh, ministries in healthcare and also staff the hospitals and homes for the aged. They had a way of visioning and they said, we must now begin to talk about our mission so that it can be passed on. To be a part of this mission that is much greater than any one of us, and I feel quite humbled actually to be joining in with an organization of people who live this mission, who have this in their heart to be able to care for the most marginalized in our society. How now will we start to live this story forward that the sisters are passing on to us? I hope everybody who comes will realize you were one among many and you were chosen. And now we ask you to live this mission of compassionate care and carry on the story.